Hey, what is up guys? It is Crimson Red here, and today we're going to be talking about the top five most overpowered cards in Clash Royale. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you Recon Gambit for supplying the gameplay here. For some reason, every time that I would try and download the gameplay that I received, it would some reason go to an mp3 file instead of an mp4 i don't know really why but i'm not complaining uh we have the gameplay here so let's continue also if you guys want to know who won the xbox and playstation giveaway it's going to be at the end of the video so make sure you guys stick around for that but anyways guys let's get into the top five so at number five we have the elite barbarians now the reason that they're in the number five spot is because they got a nerf and you know a nerf's a nerf so we gotta leave them up here also another reason that they're at number five is because a lot of people know how to counter them now you know at first it was elite barbs and then they had an ice golem and a lot of people got scared and weren't sure what to do and how to counter them now you know it's kind of you know people know how to counter them now and they're not really that scary if you guys have what you need now they are pretty scary if you know you're uh, out of elixir and you don't have anything to defend then they're really scary but you know what card isn't but that's why elite barbs are at number five now at number four we have the miner probably the greatest legendary card in my opinion and it's probably one of my favorite cards in all of clash royale if you guys ever need chip damage you guys can count on the miner and that's probably why it's my favorite card it's because i send it over to the enemy tower and they have to answer it and it will definitely get chip damage it's amazing it's a great card to use and that's why it's at number four now at number three we have the graveyard uh probably one of the most used cards at the moment and the most annoying one in my opinion um, it's the graveyard now. I actually do have this card sadly I don't have the miner, but I do have the graveyard and I actually am starting to use it now It's actually a really good card because you can put it anywhere on the battlefield and You know your opponent has to answer it and if you guys are doing a counter push It's great for those or if you guys are just doing a normal push and you guys have something behind it to You know support the graveyard then your opponent's gonna be in deep trouble now the only things that I can think of that can, uh, you know, defend a graveyard is the skeleton army, which all you really have to do is zap those away, or the valkyrie, which I haven't seen many valkyries. Um, I'm not really sure why, but maybe they might make a comeback. Um, you know, in the higher arenas, I'm in the arena 7, I barely see them. But in the lower arenas, they are there. So maybe, just maybe, the Valkyrie might make a comeback for uh, the Graveyard. What do you guys think about that? Write, in the, write that in the comments below if you guys think the Valkyrie will make a return. Now, for number two, we have probably the best air troop in the whole entire game, the Balloon. We have the Balloon at number two. Um, it deals 500 to 700 damage just if it gets to your tower, which is, you know, really scary if it does get to your tower and it does you know about 200 if you when it comes to death damage so the balloon is probably one of the best air cards uh in the game and the only thing that it gets distracted by is uh you know buildings and it doesn't get distracted by you know um you know troops or anything like that and the only thing that can really take it out is air troops so it's actually a really scary card now one um duo that i've been seeing a lot especially in the higher arenas is balloon and lava hound what they do is they have the lava hound tank for the balloon and even if you have a you know building or anything i would definitely say that you're getting a balloon to your tower it's actually a really scary combo and it's uh really scary when i when i have to see it because i have to throw out all my air troops which i you know never want to do and uh it's definitely a panicking situation and that's why balloon is at number two now the one that everyone has probably seen coming number one is the royal giant now this card has always been good and it's weird because it's a common card and it's probably one of the best cards in the game at this point now the reason it's better than the balloon is because it actually has more health and like the balloon it only gets um you know distracted by buildings and it does about 200 damage you know every shot so if it's stuck on your tower, you might as well say goodbye to half your tower. It's actually a ridiculous card, honestly. And, um, you know, if you guys don't have anything to defend it, then you might as well say GG and goodbye tower. 
But anyways, guys, that's the top five cards of Clash Royale. Probably most overpowered cards. If you guys have anything um, more overpowered or what you guys think might be overpowered, then let me know in the comments below because, you know, your opinion does matter. And this was just my opinion, so maybe you guys have a different top five list. But anyways, guys, I'm Crimson Red. And uh, like I said, make sure you stay so that you figure out who the Xbox and PlayStation winners were. But make sure to giant punch that like button. I don't know. I'm trying to think of, you know, everything for every video game. But anyways, guys, I'm Crimson Red. Hopefully you guys enjoy your day. But anyways, guys, I'm Crimson Red signing out. Bye, guys. Alrighty, guys. So we're going to start with the Xbox uh, wheel spin. As you can see, there you go. Xbox. Thanks, uh, mouse. But yeah, we're going to click it. We're going to see who is the winner. Now, there were actually 15, or excuse me, 17 people that did Xbox and only 9 for PlayStation. Now, the first person is, wow, okay. So, the first person to win Xbox is the Xbox God. Um, I guess it was in your name, so maybe that's why the wheel picked you. Now, we're going to go back to PS4. Are you going to do it, mouse? Can you, can you uh, scroll? There we go. All right, so the mouse said PS4. And we're going to see who uh, who's the winner for the PlayStation 4. Like I said, there was only about nine people for this one. And it is Zan Zanerton. Um, I'm going to message you guys on um, you, you know YouTube so that you guys can see that you guys are the winners. So congratulations to the winners. And I'll message you guys.